were taking pictures of these objects with astonishing precision. It's like, whoa. Bill Nye, a well-known scientist and television personality, recently spoke out about the James Webb Space Telescope and its most amazing image to date. The telescope's cutting-edge technology and capabilities enabled scientists to acquire an exceptionally detailed image that has astounded Nye and others. Nye, who is well known for his enthusiasm for science and exploration, called the new image groundbreaking. He talked about how the image displays previously unseen characteristics of faraway galaxies and provides a view into the early universe. According to Nye, the clarity and depth of detail obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope have exceeded all expectations. Bill Nye finally breaks the silence on the fresh photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope. The award-winning science educator and mechanical engineer delved into our universe to explain the latest from the JWST. These images allow you to see the universe from nearly 13 billion years ago. According to Bill, these visuals have the ability to profoundly revolutionize our understanding of the universe, as well as our perspectives on being alive. How is this even possible? Bill explains it in layman's terms, and it all starts with the JWST's deep field image. He has been the CEO of the Planetary Society since 2010, and he plays a key role in giving vision, guiding important organizational decisions, and acting as the public face of society. Bill Nye dug into the intriguing issue of the first deep field image obtained by the JWST in a recent conversation, expressing his delight about the immense possibility it presents to investigate the universe at unprecedented depth. The first deep field image from the JWST was revealed earlier than expected on July 11, 2022 during President Joe Biden's speech. The scientist also emphasized the significance of continuous space exploration and the role that telescopes such as the James Webb play in improving our understanding of the universe. He emphasized the possible discoveries and advances that could be made as a result of this new image and the data collected by the telescope. Nye also praised the James Webb Telescope team, recognizing their devotion, hard work, and expertise in bringing such spectacular equipment to fruition. He thanked them for their contributions to astronomy and their dedication to pursuing and pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge. A deep field photograph, according to Bill Nye, allows us to stare into the vastness of space between visible stars, capturing distant and dim stars and galaxies. While orbiting near Earth, the Hubble Space Telescope produced its own renowned deep field photos. The image we see today is from a far more distant instrument in extremely cold space. These galaxies are nearly 13 billion light years away from the universe's farthest reaches. Because the speed of light is constant, what we see is ancient light that has traveled for billions of years, allowing us to see what the early cosmos was like almost 13 billion years ago. He thinks it's incredible that we can observe it today. It's hardly an exaggeration to suggest that Bill and his colleagues have been waiting for this shot for a lifetime. According to Bill, if we were in a spacesuit, we would not see the objects depicted in the image. Infrared wavelengths, often known as heat, were used to capture the image. The near cam identifies these things in infrared and then converts the data to make them visible to human eyes on Earth. The universe is expanding, and the redder something appears, the farther it is and the faster it goes. As a result, red light is used to symbolize distant things. A blue shift, on the other hand, is referred to as a red shift. The things in the foreground appear blue, which is the color chosen for the image's focal object. Stars are being born in this stellar nursery, which is also known as the Doppler effect. They spin just like our sun, which is why we have spinning planets in our solar system, all rotating around a spinning star. Bill Nye describes it as generally astounding, but have you ever wondered why everything appears to spin? When particles with reciprocal gravity collide, their unevenness frequently creates a disk. A star eventually forms in the center of that disk, taking on a spherical shape. This amazing photograph depicts a location where new stars are rising, all thanks to the mysterious laws of gravity and heavenly objects' intrinsic spinning rotation. The Eight Burst Nebula is commonly known as the Southern Ring Nebula. It's a planetary nebula some 2,000 light years away from us. Astronomers in the Earth's southern hemisphere can witness this ring with its unique name, according to Bill Nye. This star has gone through a supernova explosion, which is responsible for creating the elements that make up life, including you and me. It's a rare opportunity to observe it up close. 
Bill Nye describes it as an astonishing view into the process of life's origin, paraphrasing Carl Sagan about how we are related to the cosmos since we are made up of materials from birth stars. So in some ways, human life is how the universe is aware of its own existence. To say the least, Bill Nye is overjoyed by this comment, but he wasn't done talking about this incredible sight. A white dwarf can be found in the center of the southern ring. A star has lost the majority of its material and collapsed due to its own gravity, creating a bright white light. Astronomers spotted two objects orbiting each other after closer investigation. Bill Nye compares it to skating on roller skates, or ice skates, and skating towards each other, grabbing arms, spinning around. That's what's going on here, an intriguing celestial dance. But let's move on to Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet is a set of five galaxies discovered by NASA's JWST, roughly 290 million light years away in the constellation Pegasus. We've seen some amazing characteristics of these galaxies, such as shockwaves and tidal storms. Four of these galaxies interact with each other on a regular basis, resulting in the mesmerizing display seen in the image, and there's also a black hole in the mix. Bill Nye has revealed some fascinating facts about the black hole. He discusses its enormous bulk and how its gravitational pull is so powerful that even light cannot escape it. Scientists can still study the black hole indirectly by analyzing the pattern of light that reaches us from the stars behind it and surrounding stars. These researchers are looking at a gas cloud around a black hole to see what elements are present, such as iron, argon, neon, and sulfur. According to Bill Nye, the ultimate goal for researchers is to not only identify planets, but also study their atmospheres in great detail. WASP 96b, atmospheric composition and that fantasy has come true. Thank you, JWST. We now have information on the spectrum of WASP 96b, an exoplanet, by looking at the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. Water and haze were spotted by the telescope. But how do we detect a planet from such a great distance? According to Bill Nye, when a planet passes between us and its star, the brightness of the star lowers, and when the planet moves to the opposite side of the star, the brightness increases again. This happens on a regular basis since the planet revolves around the star. We can deduce from this pattern that the changes in brightness are caused by the planet's movement. According to Bill, this is when things become interesting. Scientists can examine the light from the star as it passes through the planet's atmosphere to understand its atmosphere. They can tell what the atmosphere is made of by analyzing the different wavelengths of light that pass through. They seek gases such as water vapor, oxygen, and nitrogen. Some wavelengths of light are absorbed by these gases while others pass through. The JWST is extremely sensitive, allowing scientists to estimate the composition of the atmosphere based on these measurements. Bill Nye also explores how similar technologies could be used to detect life on other planets. He argues that finding water vapor is a good indicator, because water is abundant in our solar system, so it's reasonable to believe it's widespread elsewhere. If similar processes occur in other worlds, methane's the next big thing to look for. Finding natural gas such as methane could suggest the presence of living things because most methane produced on Earth is produced by living things, including bacteria. Bill mentions the possibility of discovering a star with the planet in a methane-rich atmosphere. So, thank you for watching today's video. We ask you to please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. And thank you for watching. And thank you for watching.